97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Blue Skies is a fresh fruit and fresh um, fruit product processing company um, located in Dobronia in Sawam. This company started in 1987 with 35 people, currently employs about a little above 3,000 people working in the factory. We have subsidiary companies in South Africa, Egypt, Brazil, UK, and currently a pack house in Senegal. We process mainly fresh fruits and fresh fruit products. We process mangoes, papaya, lime, sugarcane, uh, banana, passion fruit. We supply to 15 premium um, European supermarkets. You can talk of the Max and Spencer, the Sainsbury's, the Waitrose, the Albertines in Holland, the Salunga in Italy, and a couple of others. We source our raw material locally here. In fact, initially, the company was set up here basically because of the availability of the raw materials that we have. Unfortunately, over time, as our production base increases and the company expands, the production of raw material in this country seems to be, um, um, what do you call it, reducing. So we, 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 we get pineapples throughout the year locally. Sometimes we have to import pineapples from Ivory Coast and Togo and Benin. But for mango production, Ghana produces mangoes 12 weeks out of the 52 weeks in a year. So that is an annual activity where we have to import mangoes from other parts of the world when Ghana is out of season. Well, I think there is still a lot to be done. Um, if, if, if you realize Blue Skies produces to meet international standards, and uh, because we supply to European supermarket chains, so we have to meet all the standards. Currently, we operate with six international standards, the BRC, Ethica, some are Ethica, some are food safety, and, and, and some are agricultural based. So we need to work on meeting some of these standards so that our produce will meet international standards. Currently, there are ban we have bans on some of Ghana's agricultural produce just because we have not organized our systems right so we'll be able to produce products that meet some of these standards, treat our people fairly, be very ethical in our business to make sure that we, we do the best to meet international standards. It is a very difficult time. Um, initially, it was Doomso that seems to have um, transformed into something else. Currently, the power is available, but it's low current. So if you talk of industries like ours, we are always running 60% on ECG and 40% on our generators. It costs us about 20,000 pounds a week to run our generators. So you can imagine how much we are investing into this area. It doesn't mean that we have excess money, we don't know what to do with them, we are just throwing them. But for business sustainability, we need to produce to meet the supermarket chain demand. We need to make sure that we meet our customers' needs so that we remain in business. Because once you fail to produce, in the past few weeks, there have been instances we cannot meet our orders. We have to cede most of our orders to our counterparts in Europe just because we cannot produce from here. And one is because of power crisis. Very, very competitive because if, if you look at the kind of supermarket chains we supply, it tells you the level of standards and, and, and requirements that will meet you for you to, for Max and Spencer to take a product from you. In fact, they have one of the highest when it comes to international standards for food safety and production. So we, we are quite competitive. We are competing with, comp competing with companies such as the Del Montes. And that's how come we need to be very vigilant to make sure that we are always on time. We don't, we don't delay our product and we must make sure that we meet the supply. Because if you miss uh, supply to any of the supermarket chain within a very short period, they will take the business out from you because there are equally other people who are on standby who are waiting to take over the business from you. Well, it is quite very important to what we do because that is where we supply to. And with the challenge of the EPA and other things, we have remained quite silent on this because we feel, yes, we may not be that much affected because we produce against supermarket um, order. So they give us orders. They want you to give us this amount of this and then we supply. So we have built that relationship, which might not so much be affected by the EU um, and trades on, 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 on putting tax on what to do. But in the general export business, we believe that if, if it is not signed, definitely businesses are going to be affected.